Yeah, honestly, whenever, um, whenever the knee injury happened, I, I went to a pretty dark place. You know, I, I was very lost. Um, I didn't really go as far off the deep end as many do, uh, but I definitely picked up the partying lifestyle that you can in high school. Um, and that, that lasted for about a year and a half, and, and ultimately, I realized it wasn't making me happy. Um, you know, ultimately, I realized, man, it's, this is filling me with nothing but crap. <laughs> So where, where can I find happiness? Because the more I dug deeper, the, the more sad and depressed I got, you know? Um, so yeah, roughly during the, the junior, junior year in high school and my senior year, that, that was definitely pretty tough. Uh, by the grace of God, bodybuilding kind of kept me away from some of the bad stuff because I knew that excessive drinking and all that stuff was gonna deter my goals. And so I didn't get that deep into it, but it was definitely something I struggled with. Um, let's, no, I mean, they, you know, I grew up in a good German home. There's, there's plenty of alcohol everywhere, but, uh, you know, I, I went to Munster for, for high school. Same thing. There's plenty there, too. But uh, really, ultimately, it just became, you know, I wanted to be a great bodybuilder, a great powerlifter, and I knew from, because I started reading everything. I mean, I was reading all the muscle and fitness magazines. If Arnold Schwarzenegger told me to eat charcoal just to grow something, I would do it. You know, I, that was my style and one of the first things it says was that alcohol deters your, go your goals. And so by the grace of God it just kept me away uh, from any of desire to, to fully immerse myself. Um, I'm not saying I didn't have to go to confession for it a few times, but uh, yeah, that, that definitely kind of kept me somewhat balanced.